Hi, dear students. I hope you are fine. Everything doing good. This is the summary of today's science class. Don't forget to write this date on your science learners books. So please open the page 64 where you can find the new topic changing shadows. So this is the third lesson from unit six, changing shadows. You need to open page 64 to 65. Today you learn, do shadows move? In the previous lesson, we talked about, about uh, shadows, okay? And shadows properties, okay? So this is the activity I'm going to show you the learner's book. Okay, so this is the activity 6.3a and 6.3b. You need a friend. You can do this activity with your friend. You have to go outside at different times during day. Ask a friend to draw around your shadow okay you need a chalk you can use a marker to draw around your shadow stand in the same place each time and your test will unfair the word unfair means the shadow is change okay every time the shadow have different sizes the shadow will not be in the same place. The shadow will change because the earth is moving around the sun. So your shadow also change because you move and your shadow also move. So this is the activity you have to do while uh, when you go outside with your friend. You need a partner for this activity. So here is a shadow and here is a partner. The partner is drawing a shadow of his, of this boy, okay? So shadow, you have to check the time. Do shadow move? Yes, shadow move because the earth is moving around the sun. So we check the time we also talked about in the morning and in the evening time shadow are longer and at midday the shadow is shorter okay this is the source of light sun and this is the object tree so when the object stop or blocks the light the shadow happens now, as you can see in the morning, okay, the shadow is longer. And at when the sun is high, the shadow is shorter. So shadow move because the earth moving around the sun. Okay, this earth spinning around the sun. Now here are the different timings. This is the morning. This is the evening and this is the moon time, sorry, noon time. So at evening, shadow is longer. In the morning, shadow also longer, but at midday, shadow is shorter. We talked about sundial. The sundial used for measuring shadow, okay? At three o'clock, the shadow is longer. Okay, this is the sundial we use for measure shadows. So here is the source of light, sun, and this is the sundial. At 12 o'clock, the shadow is longer. At 10 a.m., the shadow is longer. At midday, 12 p.m., shadow is shorter. So we use sundial to measure how long is shadow, okay? How long shadow is. 
you can use some cubes, okay, while measure the shadows. So the girl, you can call her a random name. So she's using some cubes to measure shadow. So this shadow can be six cubes long. And we talked about sun have different timings at 8 a.m. in the morning, 10 a.m. in the morning, 10 p.m. when the sun is high, okay, at noon, 2 p.m. afternoon, 4 p.m. afternoon, okay. So as you can see, at 4 p.m., the shadow is longer. Midday at noon, shadow is shorter. Let's talk about shorter and longer. So this was the activity we did in the class. So sun have different timings and this is the sundial. And at noon, shadow short, morning, shadow long, evening, shadow long. Okay, so this is the activity you have to complete at home. You have to measure shadow the 10 a.m. You, you can use a ruler, okay, to measure this line, the shadow, that this shadow is 10 a.m. So you have to measure these shadows. And look at the noon at 12 p.m. shadow short. So this homework on page 32. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye and good luck.